then it's oh. <laughs> What are you guys doing there? I was definitely not pretending to be Cardi B. Anyways, today we got a new YouTube video for you. You guys absolutely love the last one with the crazy braces, trends, and everything going on on TikTok. So we decided to find some more and get right into it. But you want to know what else I was doing before we start this video? Oh, how crazy is that? Thank you guys so much for a million followers. You are insane, and if you're not followed yet, you better follow or else you're gonna have crooked teeth for life. Let's get into it. Here, how do you get your teeth so, so white? Let's figure it out. How I get Let's my see how. So white. She must have got a lot of people of asking if you go out this white is the teeth. Kit that I use. It comes ah, with a machine like this, okay. And it has a All right, interesting. Case, and then this she's got a little thing. bleach adapter see, there. Kind of That's got the like hydrogen this. peroxide gel in it. So she's putting the hydrogen peroxide all over her teeth. And she's plugging in her magical light. It only takes like eight minutes. And then she is whitening her teeth. I really, really like it. Hope that helps. Do we think? That that works is that cap or fact? Well, the whitening product, which is the hydrogen peroxide gel, totally works. I am not lying at all. But the lights are complete cap. Don't fall for these lights, man. They're stupid. They don't do anything. They say that it activates the hydrogen peroxide. It makes it so much better. But it's not true. They're just trying to sell you a fancy gimmick and make you they basically they can charge you more because you have a light in the kit so they get an extra five ten bucks off you because you're stupid enough to buy a, a 10 cent blue light that does nothing so skip on these ones now this last natural whitening trip is a little interesting and you may have it in your cupboard today let's take a look and see if it's fact or cap all right bananas are so healthy for you that potassium good for the oh, man, heart really good for the muscles and nervous system bananas are he doesn't have, he doesn't where do they go feel. that's okay the inside of the banana that's what i'm going to talk about magnesium manganese yeah, potassium true. put the inside of the banana against your teeth and rub it for about one to two minutes what? after a couple of weeks the i have so many gone, questions and they will be white as can be okay first off let's talk about this you're gonna choose to rub a banana peel on your teeth for one to two minutes every day i got so many questions who got that much time to rub a banana peel on their teeth for two minutes every day plus where are you getting the bananas man you got a stockpile of bananas sitting in your backyard or something that you can just get a new banana every single day and rub a banana peel on your face on what it makes no sense so no there is no anecdotal study saying that banana peels can magically whiten your teeth. They probably don't do anything, and they definitely don't work as good as any of the slew of whitening products out there. Whitening is pretty cheap, okay? If you want to whiten your teeth, go get a box of whitening strips for like 30 bucks, and then you do it for like two weeks, a week or two every day, and then you're done for like the next three, four years. It's cheap. It's not banana. I mean, you know how much a banana peel a day would cost you? Bananas are expensive, man. You guys are killing me. Oh, oh, hey, the guy's back. The kiwi guy's back. You're allergic to kiwi, so you got more ways of doing it. Strawberries. Mash them up in a bowl. Okay. Add some baking soda. Okay. Mix, mix, mix. You know what? Rub it on your teeth and leave it on I get it. Okay, we're just going to stop it right there. We all know basic, basic, same thing. Baking powder is the reason why it's scraping things off. Strawberries do actually have some whitening abilities. There is some credibility to that. But I'm going to have to go ahead and say cap on this one again, guys. Just stick to the regular toothpaste. Don't be crazy, man. There's no reason to be doing all these natural remedies for whitening. There's so many great products that whiten your teeth. Amazing. There's no real reason to. Now, if you just absolutely can't afford it, Baking soda is a good way of doing it, but I mean, I don't think you need strawberries and you don't need kiwis in there. That's just going to add sugar and that sugar can turn into cavities if you don't brush it off. So I'm, I'm going to say avoid these, okay? All right, I know I keep saying last one, but this one I forgot is another one that I thought was pretty funny that this chick thought she was whitening her teeth, doing a really good job. So let's check it out. Ladies, if you're not whitening your teeth while tanning, you better start now. Oh no, oh that poor girl, she doesn't even know. That poor girl doesn't even know. Guys, and see that's the problem with these people that are selling these lights to people. They think that the light is what's causing the whitening. It's the hydrogen peroxide or the abrasive that's causing the whitening, guys. Not the light, so no, that is, that is totally in fact cap. Opening your mouth in a blue light environment or like a tanning bed does not whiten your teeth at all. It doesn't anything. If anything, she's probably getting skin cancer on her gum. So no, I would completely avoid doing this at all costs. Complete entire cap. Another trend I found on TikTok that really kind of scared me a little bit is people trying to fix their gaps with rubber bands. Let's check it out. I'm currently, I'm currently fixing, fixing gap my gap my with $5, $5 clear, clear rubber, rubber bands. bands. 
These are the bands that I use. Oh, he's Here's wrapping them around his teeth. Over. Closing my gap in three days. You too, huh? You're doing the same thing. Oh, man. See all these color bands? She got them all over the place, man. That's scary. Oh, no. Okay, so obviously we got to stop it here. That's two different people, and I've seen a lot more videos of people using these. These things are called gap bands. And the problem with these things is what they're trying to do is put pressure on the teeth and close the gap. But what they don't understand is that if you're not using braces and some type of anchorage to pull the teeth around, you're just moving a gap from one spot to another. Her gap moved from right here to over here. And my other guy, he was trying to do it too. Same thing is gonna happen with them. Another issue is if you leave it too far and it goes between the gaps, it can go up and around the teeth going up into the bone and actually causing you to lose your teeth. The pictures on these are crazy. You can Google it and check it up. It's terrible. So as far as gap bands go, this is total cap. They do not work. They do not fix your teeth. They are not a substitute for braces. And in fact, if you move your teeth too fast, it can actually cause the bone to resorb, also causing your teeth to fall out. There's a reason why we go to school to do braces, guys. It's because your teeth are very, very sensitive to movement. And if you do it wrongly, you will lose the teeth. So please, please, please do not try and close any spaces with gap bands. I've seen way worse happen to this than a little gap getting closed. Trust me on this one. Oh, my man going in with a Coke bottle to pop. Oh, no, you did not. See, and that's what I'm telling you. That's another trend I actually have seen on TikTok is people trying to break open these bottles. I even saw Madison Beer. We did a video on Madison Beer doing it herself. And so what this is, is it's dangerous, man. Yeah, it's fun, it's a cool party trick. You can open up a Coke bottle with your tooth, but the problem is, is that you can actually break that tooth off. And once it's broken, you ain't getting it back. Oh, jelly softness test. I know what this is. This is that uh, TikTok trending like million bristle brush toothbrush. Standard soft brush, it doesn't hurt the jello. But this thousand majillion brush toothbrush, it's not causing any damage to the jello, so it must be good. Still brushing, no damage at all. Look at that. Look how much damage a standard brush makes, and that brush me doesn't. Okay, now we're gonna stop right here and we're gonna think to ourselves, okay, what is the purpose of a toothbrush? Is the purpose of a toothbrush to get gunk and plaque off your teeth? Yeah, it is. Are your teeth the same hardness as jello? No, they're not. So if a brush can't even hurt a, a tiny little bit of jello, do you think it's gonna do a good job on your teeth? Probably not. So first off, that completely ruins the vibe of this toothbrush already for me. Number two, I actually tried this toothbrush out. I thought it was super, super cool. And when we were actually making something nice company, our electric toothbrush company, we actually tried out this toothbrush early on before it was popular. I used it for about two weeks and it was terrible. Food got stuck in there. It didn't do a good job. After like a couple days, it frays out into this weird, nasty little fibrous thing. So if you have one of these or if you're looking to get one of these, absolutely don't get one of these. But I do know a good toothbrush my something nice electric toothbrush by the way everyone purchased we give back to a kid in need at a children's hospital man what more do you need plus we have a bunch of dope colors coming out too and you can support me the dentist but that being said this trending toothbrush that you've seen all over is total cap does not work at all oh my god straight sawing through that guy's teeth so that one actually is a little bit of a trip. That one's not actually a TikTok trend at all. Actually, it's something that we do here at the orthodontics office. It's called IPR, or interproximal reduction, where we have to polish between your teeth to make them a little bit smaller to make sure your puzzle fits. Because sometimes teeth are a little too big, sometimes teeth are a little too small. So if they're a little too big, we gotta make them a little bit smaller. And this is the way we do it. It doesn't hurt, it doesn't cause any increased sensitivity, and we do it all the time. So this one actually totally not cap. It's something true, and it is something that we do here in the office. Let's get in the next one. When your kids say they don't like to brush that teeth, that's too good. With cream, sprinkles, what? In the what? <laughs> it's just doing with the what? I am so confused right now. You had it so good, you had the toothbrush. First off, can we go back to the very beginning? First off, first thing that I'm noticing, look at that toothbrush. 
That thing is like, that thing has been used and abused. If you see a toothbrush look like this, you're brushing too hard, man. You're going to hurt your teeth and get gum recession out of it. Don't do that. But anyways, we started off good. We started off with the Crest toothpaste. I thought everything was going swimmingly from here. And then the tables turneth on me. Whipped cream on the toothpaste. First off, that's not going to taste good at all. And secondly, I don't think that's going to work. And then the sprinkles, well, the sprinkles kind of make it look cool. Maybe I should put sprinkles in a toothpaste soon. Well, the purpose of toothpaste is actually there's three different things in it that are good. We got detergents, cleaners, clean the teeth. We got abrasives that actually make it a little bit easier and safely to take gunk off of your teeth. And then three, we got some fresh breast stuff to make your breast smell fresh. None of those things are in whipped cream. So this one is in fact cap. Don't try it. It's not going to work, although it may taste good. So there you guys go. We went through some more crazy TikTok braces, teeth trends, or whatever you want to call them. And I'll let you know if they're back to cap. Most of these things are not worthwhile. So if you want to actually get the real stuff, you should probably just listen to me and the videos that we put out. I want to say thank you guys so much again for a million. You guys are insane. We're almost to 1.2 million now. We're zooming. Bent is on the come up, baby. I thank you guys so much. We have a lot more stuff in the works. New vlogs, new videos, new fun stuff. Doing things with your favorite creators, like reactions. It's going to be insane. So make sure you're followed. Hit that notification, the like bell, everything else in between. And we'll see you in the next one. I'm the Bentis. We out. Peace.